from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. A new control tower and fire station complex was recently opened at Lanseria International Airport. Keith Campbell has the story. The privately owned Lanseria International Airport is located northwest of Johannesburg and southwest of Pretoria. It recently opened a new control tower and fire station complex. Airport CEO Rampa Ramopo explains the importance of the new complex with regard to the airport's expansion program. This complex actually uh, facilitates a number of things for the airport. One is it unlocks uh, the kind of space that we have on the other side, on the northern side of the airport, in order for us to be able to do other things uh, at the place where the current the existing uh, tower and the fire station is located, i.e. that uh, we'll be able to utilize uh, that space for increased uh, apron space or otherwise for the extension of our terminal building. So it's a strategic move that uh, we have made to uh, relocate uh, the complex, but also uh, from a technical point of view, which Kevin would uh, talk about, uh, it removes some of the uh, obstacles or challenges that we're experiencing with the uh, old tower. The new complex will bring benefits both for the air traffic controllers, or ATCs, and for the firefighters, as Airport Chief Operating Officer Gavin Sace explains. The new tower addresses a number of shortcomings in the, the old, or the original tower, in that the ATCs could not see all of the uh, access points from the technical areas onto the taxiway. It couldn't see the full length of the taxiway and all of the apron areas. Those had to be covered uh, by means of CCTV cameras, which work but are not an um, ideal solution to the problem. By building a tower on the south side, um, it gives the ATCs a much better view. Um, from this position, you can see right into the aprons. We have Charlie Apron, which is the uh, domestic uh, general aviation apron it allows ATCs to see the whole area. Alpha apron, the international apron, is now visible. And also the, the main apron, Bravo, which d handles all the scheduled aircraft. From this position, the ground controllers have full visibility and are able to issue the instructions with the full knowledge of what is happening around those aircraft. The fire station on the old apron, it was positioned on the old apron adjacent to the tower and with the congestion due to the increased activity around the schedule operations, it was hampering the ability to respond timelessly. It was also a noisy environment. So for the firemen working there all day long with the jet engines, it was becoming uncomfortable. By moving to the south side, they can respond uh, timelessly to any incident. They have direct access to the runway, unencumbered access, and it's a much better working environment for the firemen as well. Inspection, Testing, Verification and Certification Multinational, SGS, and ESCOM have partners to train 24 local youths at ESCOM's Krutlay Power Station in Mpumalanga in 12 subjects related to safety, health and quality. Skalkberger has a story. Integrity and trust are necessary conditions for the sustainability of businesses, says SGS South Africa Sustainability Team Leader and Strategic Transformation Manager Vivian Locale. The students that complete the course, approved by the International Institute of Risk and Safety Management, will strengthen ESCOM or the companies that employ them by fulfilling detailed, technical and international grade inspection and safety compliance roles. The training will improve the success of businesses they join and thereby the sustainability of jobs created while improving safety, health and risk compliance, confirms Eskom Grootvelle Maintenance Manager Lawrence Chaoke. Skills that support the sustainability and success of formal businesses in an ecosystem, such as within electricity generation supply chains and services, are relevant and valuable for the country, Lokale emphasizes. After the course is completed, up to 20 participants who have passed the course will complete a three-month internship at the Grootvlei Power Station. Vivian Lokale details some of the key reasons for the health, safety and quality training. In the scope of sustainability, we look at people, we look at communities, we look at environment impact in our society. And I think what we value is what education does to society at large. So we invested in community, but we thought the team, the team or the drive should be on education and that's the reason why we've partnered with uh, ESCOM for that 
that risk management is at the core of our businesses. And going through the health and safety route, safety is very important, is something that we want to integrate in our culture, that what we put to our workplaces, that what we sell back to the community. Uh, thinking about the people we employ, we, we really draft the community where we operate and where we, we, we do business for them. So using the same manpower to drive the safety, we really putting back the value back to community that takes back to the We took it with a long-term mind, a long-term project. We started and we think we, is, we it, this is a small stat, but definitely is going to bring a lot in the ecosystem that we've established today. Lawrence Chaoke details some of the key aspects of the training. The, the first expectation by the community is more to say that companies that are doing business in their area should be plowing back to the community. That's number one. And the second thing is that you know they should benefit in either employment or training or in terms of the CSI side. You know, so, so those were the main expectations uh, from the community. And this one specifically, it was you know, made and you know, structured to benefit the local in terms of upskilling them on the area that was identified. Because they're going to be doing, they will be given uh, practical training. They are going to the plant to work in different companies. And what we expect them is to show off their skills when they are there so that they can be employed at the end of the day. Every skill that you impart on someone, it's, you know, most especially in this, for, in this format, is to sustain. What, whether it's a business or even to the, to the benefit of the individual as, as, as well. So local businesses can benefit from that and obviously that's part of what we're aiming to achieve in sustaining our day-to-day our -day work and not only ESCOM but other businesses as well from the same scale. We do have plans outside SGS. We have intention to build a skills development centre locally and that skills will focus again on SHEC and, any, and all the other areas or aspects of training, which is, uh, some of that uh, the training will be technical, some will be office work, and uh, safety related. So we have a plan in place, uh, we are busy working on that plan, and then uh, it will, so there is future in training the local community. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.